that. There hey guys, go. Hey guys, how's it going? Face <laughs> here and welcome back to Gakuba Shoujo. I'm gonna teach you how to play football. <laughs> so, yeah. We reference that a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, Game Rumps. Um. Uh, do you want to, Do you have enough energy to do the voice now? Probably. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, we left off here. What the fuck is with Shizune? <laughs> they were playing Risk. Uh, Shizune was trying to be a cat. Apparently. Uh, me, me, she was trying to chew her own hair because it's bubblegum pink. Literally, her hair is just gum. <laughs> just like, Probably. <laughs> right up. <laughs> Tell her I will crush her world empire with my rebellion if you said what I think you said. Ah! 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 her shine with a childlike mistrust. This is the only chance if you can play with this! Make sure choices for a I, I think this is where you said it doesn't even matter. Actually, it does. It does? Mm hmm Attack aggressively! Fuck that bitch up! Oh, wait, that's the only one I should. She's either really mocking me or trying to trick me. I have nothing else to lose, though I might as well try something different. Maybe if I spread out my forces and try to control more territories, I can recoup the advantage. She seems to focus on conquering whole nations, so maybe I can sacrifice my hold on continents to gain some more small... Worth a shot. A few turns later, I end up losing the game anyway. Sorry. She's oh, <laughs> just her glasses victoriously and allows herself a tentative pump of fist and uh, pump of fist in the air in celebration. Yee! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh. There's no need to translate that. It was pretty clear. I, 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 remember, I remember I saw this image of, uh, 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 I know your meme, it was Misha's face <coughs> on a, on a Wobbuffet. Like, <laughs> Dear God. Sometimes it just isn't good enough! No! Fuck. <laughs> Uh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> if anyone knows it, it's me! And if I want someone to just let him play it! I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> She is disabled in her own way. Her language is shit. <laughs> Can't speak uh, very good Japanese. Ching <laughs> chong. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> anyway, no. The American great people. Oh fuck. Is that the Jerry? Is that the follow through? My voice is gone. Not doing it right. Okay, I'll do the names. You just do the rest. There's no point. The potential is you don't take the first step. There's no point to that if you don't keep going. I want to see more. You're right. <laughs> What's that sort of ending? <laughs> Hello. Check. Uh, she should. Um. <laughs> she <laughs> leans forward, suddenly looking a lot less playful and more like a serious person than I expected her to be from the start.
doesn't really waste any time, does she? But, it's only my second day of school, so I'm hesitant about committing to something so early. I haven't even taken a look at my other clubs yet. But spending time with Shizune and me, she doesn't seem like something I would hate. I'd fucking hate it. <laughs> Pretty sure the viewers would kind of hate it at this point, too. <laughs> Your voice would hate you. My voice does hate me. <laughs> I still need more time to think about it before I decide for sure. Maybe I'll get back to you on it. Okay! <laughs> Part of it's your own damn fault. <laughs> I hope we don't just say this so we don't feel bad. No. no what? No, really. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to say that, then you're saying that it's definitely the show that there can't be. Eddie, we're saving it. I know, I know. I guess I should have my revenge for losing at the very least. Susan A smiles in that both mischievous way that feels like twisting the knife in the wound of my loss. I take a glance at the clock on the wall and realize I spent far longer playing rest than I expected. Just like football. <laughs> <laughs> Rule one about football. Never tell your parents. Rule number, number two. two. Never tell oh. your parents. How many times have we done that this season? I don't even know. Too many. I love okay. it so much. Though. Sorry, I think I have to go. I wanted to go to the library. It's not closed yet, is it? Usually they scratches their head and gestures at me. Fucking so. hat and he... Yeah, I know, right? How hard can it be to determine whether the library is open? There's a clock right there on the wall. It should be unless the library is absent! I think you're right! <laughs> No thanks, it's okay. See you tomorrow. I don't want to. Bye bye! Shut up, Misha. Oh, uh, we can. On. <laughs> One flight of stairs up, and I run into problems. Second floor hallway is a carbon copy of the third floor. Carbon? Yes. Why, wide, of course, and plain, like only hall. The problem is that the library's whereabouts are not as easily determined as one. Somebody's doing the lead voice? Obviously, she's an Edmund. Kind of are. Well, okay, that's decided. Uh, the classes are marked with signs stating which class they belong to, but then there's a plethora of other unmarked rooms. Plethora. Close enough. Is library one of them, or is that just somewhere down the hallway? I bet on the ladder and choose my direction at random. After I turn around the corner, an unmarked door draws my attention because it's not closed. It's not open either, though. We're just barely ajar so that I can't, uh, so I can open and nothing else. Wait, is this Lily? Emmy? Because doesn't she like? Meet Lily, which is why I asked you. So who's Lily's voice? I just, I just <laughs> want to make sure because it... I'm pretty sure this is where you also meet Emmy. The backgrounds are kind of the same. Ugh. It would make sense for the library door. It's to a carbon copy. <laughs> to be invitingly open, and while this one's not quite that, it's good enough. At the very least, it means that someone is inside and can ask for directions, no matter how embarrassing that is. I, yeah, unless she's blind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gingerly push on the center of the door with my fingertips, every muscle on my arm ready to pull back at a moment's notice. No one's changing in there, maybe. Uh, Rin. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, don't even bring that up. Uh, the feeling of being an outsider to this school can't be shaken from my mind so much that I instinctively instinct fear doing something wrong by entering. Don't even bring that up. The door slowly creaks as if groaning from a deep sleep, though it is much easier to open than I anticipated. Leaning over and poking my head even further inside to gain sight of the room as fast as possible, the meek "no" oh, from my lips is quickly, quickly snatched away. This <laughs> is not what I was expecting. I mindlessly let the door open to its full extent, taking in the sight of the solitary figure taking center stage in the otherwise abandoned room. The situation steals my voice, leaving me standing in the doorway, staring at the beautiful girl. Evidently, ha uh, having taken her time to assess the situation, the girl gently puts down her teacup and opens her eyes, but doesn't look at me. God, what voice am I going to do for this? One, Scottish. Two, 
high mannered. Hello there. May I help you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like I'm her. No. That no. Yes. Well, welcome to Remy and Donna. Just stay here for a couple minutes deciding what voice we're gonna do. I did the Scottish voice. She has a perfect Japanese accent. There's no hint of Scottish in the, in in her. So she is Scottish. Well, then how do you know what's in her voice? She doesn't talk. I've played the whole game. It does it does reference that she has a perfect Japanese accent. <laughs> I want to do the Scottish accent. No. Because it fits. Hello there, may I help you? Staring directly in front of herself, the movements of her lips seem to break the silence rather than the words. <laughs> you can give Bacon whatever voice you want. <laughs> uh, however, it's a soft, measured voice that reminds me that she's being separate from the room itself. Not only is she likely the tallest girl I've ever laid eyes on, but even but even among the foreigners she, she I've met, she's strictly distinct and has the biggest breast size of them all. What, I just I just thought of something. What did you think? What about? if like he opened the door and she was like, "Top of the morning to you!" <laughs> Top of the morning to you, lad. What? Jack Shep, the guy here. I mean, Lily here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, we're referencing too many YouTube. I don't even know some of them. Uh, hi. Sorry for intruding. I was just kind of lost. It's fucking hot in here. Yeah, come open the window. Okay, then. <laughs> she takes a moment to formulate a response before speaking. Every action she takes feels as though it's carefully choreographed beforehand. How can't you see? Wait, you can't. <laughs> oh, I'm a dick. You gotta take a seat. Unexpected considering that I'm intruding upon her. Thanks. I slowly step towards another seat opposite of her, the girl resting the teacup and saucer on the wooden table in between. The way she doesn't track my movements with her head is telling that, and the slight cloudiness of eyes means she must be at least partially blind like Kenji. Not our kid. <laughs> well then. Come to think of it, her voice doesn't have any detectable accent either. I guess she must be half Japanese. Where's Squish? As I take my seat, her composure takes takes me slightly off guard. Her air of relaxed confidence makes the silence entirely comfortable. The calming atmosphere is so different from the student council. I take it you're the new student to Yumaku. Uh, yeah, I just transferred in yesterday. I get the distinct feeling my speech pattern doesn't match the formality of hers. Accentuated by her... Didn't I try to say that during frickin' Persona? Accentuated? Accentuated? Probably. <laughs> well, yeah, because we were talking about the noodles. Accentuated by the noodles. Oh, yeah. Uh, by her restrained brow, bow of greeting, brow. Uh, <laughs> can't handle all these brows. Ah, uh, no. Match gasoline. <laughs> 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 Damn you, Rockley. <laughs> One which I hasten to match before realizing the futility of the action. I'm Lily Satow. Pleased to meet you. No, he sounded Akai. She gives a nod before gesturing roughly in the direction of her teacup. Do you care for a drink? Are you like a day? <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, the time for tea time! <laughs> the fuck? As much as it pains me, I can't keep step with her formality in the proceedings. She gives me a kind nod, taking the request in stride. Without another word, she uh, she's, she's one of the few people that seem to accept her disability. She steps off the chair and prepares a second cup of tea from a collection of supplies laid out along the shelf. Rin accepts it. Rin and have problems with it. Monica was something else. Emmy seems fine. I played through her storyline. She's a track star. There's a reason she runs. She doesn't think about anything else. It's her escapism. That makes sense. And we're gonna end it here. It's like 30 seconds short, but. Oh, we can read a little more. A brush here, a brush there. Her left hand often lightly touching the side of whatever container she's pouring into. It seems to be a process she's followed dozens of times before. As I lean sideways to see around her back, she seems to use her long, dainty finger to measure the right amount of water in the cup. It's one thing to see the different disabilities uh, the students in my class have, but it's quite another to see how everyone seems to adapt. Say and Misha have no problem working together to communicate to me. What do you say? 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Yes. And Lily herself seems to have workarounds for problems I never thought of. I and we're gonna end it there. Yep. Because it's pretty So we've encountered our third girl. Yes, technically. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe and also feel free to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. It'll help us out a lot to get noticed. And